I'm making this second video because the first video I ran into the problem of how this document was already auto-tagged. And when I got to remediating the reading order of the document, I had trouble. And so you'll see that the reading order, I was working on fixing it. And then I got to uh, these little areas like this and I was able to find them. It's because of the auto tagging that occurred. You probably used auto tag to uh, do your tagging. And so the, the tags are all in these figure folders and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what to do to remediate your document effectively. And it's gonna be more of a manual process than you're probably used to seeing. And uh, so the first thing you would do is uh, make sure you have the tag tool and the reading order tool here on the, the sidebar here. And uh, you see there's also the tool here that where I did the accessibility check in the last video. What you do is you right click here. You can set the uh, panes by clicking on them uh, on this list here. So you wanna make sure you have these two, the tags in their order. So I'm going to click on order and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to show reading order panel and then I'm going to go down here to clear the page structure. So we're going to start from the document without any structure in there at all. Once you have your reading order panel, position it where you like. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the reading order panel to actually manually mark up the content. The first thing I noticed when I was working on this document is it didn't have any structure. It only had paragraphs. And so I wanted to have headings. This first thing here is going to be a heading one. So you drag a box around it and you click heading one. The underlying colors are not important. They're not information for the viewer or the listener. And these uh, pictures down here, they may convey information and you would have to write an alt tag for them. We'll get to that later. So we're just marking the headings right now in the text. Okay, so I'm going to mark this as a heading two. Then I'm gonna mark this as text. And then heading three and text. All right. Now we get to an image. And images can be marked up as a background artifact or actually a figure. And when the document was previously done, it was automatically tagged as all figures. Everything was figures except for the text. It was a paragraph. Basically, you want to highlight the material. And then you're going to press the, I believe the shift key, and you're going to highlight the other images that go with it so that it's all one image. And you're going to click figure. And we'll get to the uh, alt tags later. But notice that I'm doing this in the correct order. The problem I had with the first video is I could not tag the little pictures and put them in order. The next question is, uh, when should we mark the little image up there? And I think it, it's probably not really instruction at all. The information is actually below. So anyway, this is a heading three. And then the text, and then the picture again. Again, hold down the shift key when selecting multiple images. Since this image does not contain any vital information, I'll just mark it as a artifact. Now, the reason I did that was because a person using a screen reader that would be duplicate information. They can't see the pictures in the first place. And everybody else is still gonna be able to see the picture, but it won't have a, a tag while it's reading for someone with a screen reader. Okay, let's go on to the next step. Make sure everything is uh, reading in the proper order and it's not. All right, 
Now, you want to make sure on your reading order panel here that you have page content order selected. And I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to come over here and bring this back over so we can look at it. Make this a little bit smaller. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it reads the second picture. We don't want that. We want the picture to be read after nine. So you just click on this and drag it after nine, drop it in. Well, we have accomplished the reading order. As far as I can tell, that's what we want. This is the way we want it to look. And the next thing we're going to do is we already have the accessibility tool up, and I assume that you already have that. But if you don't, you go over to Tools and scroll down until you get to Accessibility and click Open. And that will put it over here. So I'm going to click on Accessibility over here. And then we're going to do the Accessibility Check. And you can attach the check to the document if you want, or you can save it in a folder. And so I already have it in a folder and I'm not going to change that, but that's, you want to make sure all these ticks are done and then you click start checking and this is the uh, icon on the left for it. Alright, so it has two pictures. When I did this previously from the auto tag um, position, it had uh, something like 13 or 16 pictures, I can't remember now. But uh, I was having trouble with the uh, reading order getting them to work. So the manual method worked really well. So how do you add the alt tag? So you have two ways. You can sit the alternative text by clicking this over here, or when you run the accessibility checker, you right click, click fix, and then you're gonna type in information about the picture. You're gonna describe the content uh, as to what functionality you're prescribing to that picture. What does that picture state? What, to, what information does it give? You don't have to describe all the people in it and all the pictures of all the, the grid here or all that. You just have to describe what you're actually referring to, which is the zoom in and zoom out most likely. And so you're gonna type that in here. If you do have a picture that is like the yellow line up here or the purple background, you would mark that as a decorative figure. And so I'm just gonna write picture here. Then I click the arrow and go to the second picture. You know, I'm not actually going to describe these pictures because that, that's the job of the person who's creating the instructional material. When you finish, you say, click save and close. The last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you save your file after you've made all those changes so that you don't lose them.